I'd hasten to say talk us through the two goals, but I don't imagine they'll take much describing, will they? Oh, no, I just wanted to um, get them on Saga. First one, just caught it, caught it nice. You're just thinking in me, head, just get this on Saga, a scuff one against Rochdale um, last week. So I just wanted to um, get that one on Saga. And the second one, just exact same, just get them on Saga and just hope for the best. Has a manager been talking to you about scoring some more goals? Because you get into those positions, don't you? But it hasn't always come off for you. Yeah, loads of the lads. Um, always take them in hard me about it. That I miss too many chances. But you know, I work hard in training and um, try and score as many as I can in training. So that when I come into a game, I'm confident. So, yeah, I'm happy if I um, scored two today. But more than happy we got the three points, the main thing. I was going to say the performance was another thing, wasn't it? Because you had a test of character halfway through after you'd scored and you came through it. Yeah, first half we were we were brilliant. We went in at half time and just said don't give them nothing really coming out second half but we started off we started off okay first five or ten minutes and then you know they get the goal which is a good move. They're well on top so we were um, we were pen back for a bit but you know we kept going like we always do and we ended up getting another ball for it. How difficult is it from a team perspective when you've been on top and then you concede and you've kind of had a lot of that work undone? How do you kind of reset yourselves at that point? Just got to make sure they don't score another one, really. Um, get back into shape, don't go chasing the game, because there was loads of time left. Um, if it's late on, it's a different story, but you know, it was just early on in the second half, which we were weren't happy about, we didn't want to concede at all, but you know they were a good side, they moved the ball well, but thought we just got what we deserved in the end. The manager's just talked about you, about all the work you put in with your diet and how well you look after yourself and everything. Just tell us a bit about that. What what motivates you to, to do that and to keep yourself in that kind of shape and, and to put that kind of work in? Just, um, I've always worked hard, always. Like, I mightn't be as technically good as other players, like Tom Conlon, he's you know, technically unbelievable, isn't he? So, you know, I'm, I'm not as good as other people, so I know I need to work harder than them. And then, you know, over time, I'll... Get better, but yeah, just um, just getting your diet right, I think, helps you a lot, really. Um, no one knows what you should be eating, like what's good for your body. So, yeah, I just um, got like a tolerance test on and just um, stuck to it for about 18 months now. I feel good off it. I was going to say, you've, you've really felt the difference in particular because the, you know, you're know you playing virtually every week now, which must be a good sign. Yeah, definitely. You know, there's plenty of good players there who could be playing over me, but you've got to be on it in training and on the pitch probably didn't perform great last week um, you know, as a team we probably didn't but you know, we knew we had to bounce back with a good performance and we did. I know you got subbed at half time last week and I know the manager said he'll always pick a team to win the game rather than the one that's that's played well the week before but from your point of view the fact that he, he stuck faith with you after he subbed you last week must yeah. mean a lot too. Yeah he just um, you know, he brought me off for a reason he thought I looked a bit leggy which I did feel but I know myself when I get in at half time what I need to do and to feel right for the second half but you know that's his decision and he can stick with that I'll, I'll never go against that that's up to him I was going to say that as well though because adding the goal scoring to your game makes you much harder to drop or take off in yeah. future doesn't it yeah definitely as I say I've been um, I work hard so get the goals is good but the main thing is the result all, always I'm going to ask you if you've got a target now you know that don't you <laughs> As many as I can, just as long as we win, I'm really not bothered.